Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to North Ranch. Let's check out this model. But again, before we do, right here's the link. Right here is the QR code. You can scan with your mobile phone. It will take you straight to my free mobile app, only works on phone, and you will get home sent directly from the MLS before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Let's check out this one. So, like I say in all of my new tours, if you are thinking about buying new, considering buying new, want to buy new before you go into the sales office to speak with the associates, before you fill out information online, call a realtor. You want to bring a realtor with you the first time you see models. If you don't, you go speak with the sales associates. They're gonna work with you, but they don't represent you. They actually have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. So if you want representation, fun fact, as the buyer, you don't pay the realtor commission, the builder does. So give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. Three car garage. Now about this community really quickly. This is a Dell web community. So it is age restricted, 55 and older. Every single home is a single story. Today, we're gonna be looking at the Haven. This is in their retreat series. This is 1,859 square feet, two bed, two bath, I don't know why it says two car garage because I'm definitely seeing, I guess maybe storage. That does look small, probably golf cart size. It also includes a covered patio and then a den or optional third bedroom. Now this one starts at 397,990. Now do me a huge, huge favor and make sure to hit that like button. It really does help out the channel. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm also. If you are new, make sure to subscribe. I try to put new tours out every single day. So again, age restricted 55 and older community, Del Webb up here in the Northeast portion of the Valley. Fun fact, and I don't know, let me know if you knew this, leave a comment. You don't have to be 55 to move into a 55 and older community. You just need HOA approval. You can't have children, obviously. Usually it's either 19 or 21, depending on the community. They can live with you full time. You could have grandkids or kids come and visit you. They just can't stay and live here. They can't be like out in the street, rollerblading. First bedroom, they did the can lighting. That, that almost looks like a queen size bed. Two nightstands, we have a chair, huge window. Now, up here, the HOA is about 190 a month. I do like this room. That's gonna get you gated community. You're gonna get the uh, association features such as a clubhouse. You're going to get access to the pools, bocce ball, all of that good stuff. Right there we have our two door closet slider. This is nice. Good size first bedroom. Would you live in an age restricted community if you weren't 55? I see the pluses. I kind of see both sides. I know if you don't want to be bothered by kids, it is kind of an attractive idea. Right here we have our linen closet. So right up front, I'm guessing over there is our coat closet. But first bathroom. Now this home, just keep in mind, it is highly optioned up. I'm going to guess somewhere around 25% in options, including the lot premium. So what is that? 40, 40 and 20. So a hundred thousand in the home, give or take. We have our vanity. So the flooring is 100% optioned up. Guessing these countertops are a nice undermounted sink, a check. Just the bumpers, they do have soft clothes. You have your toilet. And then we have our tub shower combo. Now this is more standard, I'm guessing non-standard hardware, but if you want, you can tile this, you can get a shower only option and have curbless. They have a lot of flexibility in what they can do, but this is a fiberglass composite tub shower combo. We have our little soap shelves and right there is our shower head. Nice bathroom. You can even do, instead of a uh, curtain rod, you can do the glass enclosure. They have a lot of flexibility and they have lots, <laughs> which is uh, so hard to find nowadays. They even did the ceiling. Is it wallpaper? I can't tell if it's tile or wallpaper, but cool area if you wanna add like a little table or anything. 
I know a lot of people come in through the garage. So if you came in through the front door, you could throw your keys there or anything else. Right here is our coat closet. Now, oh, that is nice. Let's go down this hall and then I'll show you. So, oh, wow. Now, I do believe this is an option because I believe you can actually extend the garage a bit and get storage in the garage, or you can do, what do you want to call this? The mega laundry room. This is cool. This is your smart panel right here. You put the router and modem in it, and then all of the ethernet connections and everything, uh, they end right here. So pretty much everything in this laundry room is an option. They put the sink, they put the lowers. Mm, it even has the wand on it. And then look at the amount of storage in here. You have your washer dryer, all of the uppers, you have your folding table area, and then they even have a second fridge and a very nice one at that. So leave a comment down below. Would you do the, I'm gonna call it mega laundry room, or would you do the extended garage and have more storage? Mm, that would be tough. I would want this. I almost feel like I need the storage, but uh, I, I think I would go this way. That is so nice with all that extra cabinetry right there, plus the drink fridge. So before we head on down, right here we have our office. So you can do optional third bedroom if you want right here. I don't know, the office is really, really nice. Especially after last year, I know so many people are working from home. Huge, huge office space. They even have three little windows up there. Come on around and show you over here. Cool table, cool desk. And then right here, this is what I was talking about. Here's your ethernet and cable. Those will go up in the walls, up through the attic, and they will end in that box over there. Awesome patio. Really, really nice outdoor patio. So coming on out, before we take a look at the kitchen, right here, they did the covered patio even. Now, the pergola portion is an option. I feel like this is the way to do it. Do it with the pergola, put the outside Costco lights out there and just make this like an amazing little sitting area, especially a day like today where there is a little bit of wind. It's like 72 out right now. Oh, just open it up and enjoy the outdoors because a couple days from now, it will be back in the hundreds. Before we check out the rest of the living room, let's see the master suite. Again, do me that huge favor and hit the like button. It really, really helps the channel out. So should we start in the bathroom? No, let's start in the bedroom. Master suite. This is nice. King size bed, two nightstands. They even did these really cool reading orb night lights. They did the optional can lighting. Normally you're gonna get this guy right here, which is a pre-wire cap for your ceiling fan and chandelier or light, whatever you so choose. They can put sliders in if you want, instead of that big window, that window is really nice. Ooh, I don't know. Would you want the sliders or would you want the door? I think in this case, I think I would rather have the door. I don't know, I wanna hear what you guys have to say. A lot of you guys have really good comments and have really good ideas. They have big dresser. This is a nice master suite. I think those lights are so cool. Now again, those are extra because of the lighting packages. But I wanna spin around really quickly to show you the backyard. Actually, I'll go this way. Because when you buy new, you need to budget for the back Yard. Now this lot is pretty small, I'll be honest, but all of this will be dirt. It's up to you to finish it however you so choose. The only thing you will get, you'll get these pavers, you'll get the covered patio portion. Unfortunately, it's locked right now, but everything behind these pavers, you have to do yourself. Average backyard is somewhere between 13 to $15,000 now. This wouldn't be too bad, this size lot. But again, if you wanna add a pool, spa, heater, Figure $45,000 before landscaping. So definitely keep that in mind. Right here we have 
Oh, this is, well, that, um. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the other model. Like you can see into the bedroom. Um, we have a very large Vegas window. It's very, very pretty, but um, either you're gonna need to be good, good friends with your neighbors, or I joke about how this is Vegas, but not everyone wants to put on a show. So window treatments, contact paper. I kind of wish they did like frosted or rain glass, but we have our first vanity. It's actually pretty good size. And the next one is absolutely massive. So no medicine cabinet here, but they do have the option to do a medicine cabinet. If you choose, I know more and more people think that it's more modern. I agree. I know that a lot of people do like their medicine cabinets, but nice first vanity. They did stonework all around. Is this fiberglass composite tub? Usually everything will be fiberglass and then you can option up to do separate tub, separate shower in stone. And then you can do like the mega shower. But this is nice. They even have the bench and then it is curbless right here. So there's no curb, you have to step up and over. You just walk right on in. There's your valve, there's your shower head. And then check out this vanity. Wow, it is almost double the size. Really, really nice. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you wish that maybe like this one was empty so that you could do like the stool for the makeup vanity? I don't know why they don't do that. I know the fiance at least says she doesn't like her makeup in the bathroom because it ruins it with the moisture, but, um, or maybe move the sink down here, makeup area down there. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think but huge sheet of glass, big, big mirror. This vanity is absolutely massive. Your sink is all the way down here. There's so much counter space in this. Again, they do have the ability to do a medicine cabinet if you choose. And then we have our toilet area. And again, I know I've said this in all the other ones. It makes me so happy when the door opens outward, not inward, because you can almost get trapped in it. But one thing I also noticed, all of these models, have the wide doors. These look like 36 inch doors, not 28, not 32. Kind of wish more builders would do that with the wide doors. It just makes life so much easier. So really, really nice size closet. Double bar. We have all of the shelving right here. And then, wow. Okay, this is not something you see every day. They even did can lighting. There's four in the, Closet. Usually you just see like the fluorescent one, double, and then single. Awesome, awesome, awesome bathroom, awesome closet. You could have an island in here for shoes and jewelry. So coming on out, let's check out that main living space. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please give me a call. Again, all my contact info down below. And again, do me that. Big, big favor. Again, it really helps the channel grow. It gets it out to more viewers. Make sure to hit the like button. Different layout than what we're used to, at least from them. I kind of like this, how when you're in the kitchen, you can kind of see everyone. But let's check out over here first. Again, I'm guessing upgraded. Usually to just have the single uh, panel slider. They have this one and then they have the, the triple 15 foot one. So that looks like a 12 foot. Nice dining space. Eight person dining space does not feel too big. You could even put the little buffet serving area. Again, you're gonna get these pavers. You're gonna get this covered patio and this covered patio is massive. It even has area for two fans. But I feel like in a lot of homes I tour, the dining area feels too, or excuse me, the dining table feels too big for the dining area. Not the case here. I feel like they could have even gone a little bit bigger. Right here we have our living space. So they did all of this built-in, which is pretty neat. But this living room will be about a foot deeper than what you're seeing just because those built-ins are pushed out. So cool idea though. I kind of like it. I actually really like it. 
I feel like the only thing you may want to add is maybe a fireplace, but you really don't need to. I'm, I'm such a fan of a fireplace, but they did the wood paneling, cool display cabinets. There's even a phone line over there in the corner. So let's check out that kitchen. Quite a few upgrades. I'm such a fan of this. I've never like done this with the chair facing this way, but especially if you're gonna have friends and family over, it would be neat to just like talk and not necessarily watch TV. I feel like that's all I did during last year, but our kitchen, they did the waterfall edge. They did the two inch face on it. So those are your upgrades right there. They even did the paneling on this side. That's another upgrade. Usually it's just gonna be textured just like the walls are. So a couple upgrades right here. You could, again, easily fit four bar stools. And they did two tones. So they did white with gray vein and then a dark countertop on that side. They did the 42 inch uppers. They even tiled above the uppers. It's a nice little detail they did. So we have our lowers. If we spin, let's check out the island really quickly. We have our dishwasher. We have our lower cabinet below this incredible island. Neat sink, really, really neat sink. Here's your view. I think this is so cool with this. I would honestly like during all of these nice times, just leave it completely open. They even make screens for them and then just enjoy the outdoors right here. Cause you could really do indoor outdoor living with that. And another thing, again, I know I said it in one of the other tours, I appreciate how wide this is, but sometimes it feels too narrow. Not the case here. So again, dark counters on this side. Does it have? No, sometimes they almost have a texture on it. They did the lighting underneath as well. You can tell that the microwave will vent outside. So here's our microwave. If you don't see, here I'll show you. When you open up these and you don't see that pipe, then your microwave is gonna be recirculating and you need to change out the filters because otherwise they'll get clogged, it's not gonna work. So definitely keep that in mind when you check your home. Right here is our five burner cooktop, really nice, and our oven. They do have the ability to do double ovens if that is what you want. All the cabinetry over there. We have our refrigerator, more cabinets above. And oh, I'm such a fan, I wish my pantry was this big. Huge pantry. Nice, they even put an extra one up above. Really, really nice home. I wanna hear what you have to say about this. I really like this two-tone. I know this may not be everyone's cup of tea, let's call it. I know a lot of people like the browns. A lot of people really are into the grays. Let me know. Is this your style of home? Would you live in a 55 and older community? Don't forget you get all of those amenities. Ooh, it's really, really nice. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, give me a call. Again, all my info is down in the description below. Would love to help you out. Whether it's this home, a new home, resale, anything in between, give me a call. Again, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, Thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.